Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Shocker here. Welcome to another edition of the Five Minute Motivator. Uh, let me address an email that I received recently. An individual asked me, why is it that I have the same color shirt on uh, two days in a row? Uh, it's not that I'm wearing the same shirt two days in a row. I am recording two episodes of the Five Minute Motivator in a row. So consequently, I finish one and then I record another and I have the same shirt on. So I only have the shirt on for 10 minutes, okay? So don't, I, I, I don't want you to think that, uh, that uh, I'm wearing this same shirt for two days. <laughs> At least that was the impression I got from the email. Uh, I am developing uh, a rather extensive inventory of these five-minute motivators because I have a lot of topics to talk about. Uh, I think at present, right now, I have about a month and a half inventory already uploaded into YouTube, scheduled to be released one a day at midnight. And I also have, in my program notes, uh, probably another two weeks' worth of... Um, Five Minute Motivators that I plan on recording. So I am at no loss for material uh, right now, and that's why I record two a day, and that's why I have the same color shirt on twice uh, for two, day, uh, two episodes in a row. So anyway, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, what are your people saying about you behind, behind your back? What are your people saying about you at lunch? This is kind of a managerial um, episode of the Five Minute Motivator, but I want you to think about this. At lunch, when your people are talking, and you come up in conversation, what are they saying about you? You don't think it's important? It is. It is. Um, think about this. Something happens in your department. Uh, there, there's been a, a real problem, so much of a problem, that your boss comes down to figure out what's going on. And um, your boss comes down and says, hey, what's going on here? And your response is, oh, yes, he did it and you single out the employee that caused the issue. What are your people saying about you at lunch? Okay, now granted, you laid the blame where it was necessary. You, you, you picked out the person that made the mistake and uh, maybe you're telling your boss in front of everybody else or not that uh, you're gonna take corrective action and you're gonna help this employee become better and yada, 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 and human resource principle and policy and procedure on top of each other. But what are your people saying about you at lunch? I guarantee I know what they're saying about you. What, what they're saying is, did you see the way he threw Mike under the bus? Do you see the way he threw Jane under the car? I guarantee you that's what's being said about you. Think about what would happen if, uh, in this situation if there was a big mistake and um, your boss comes down to figure out what's going on and your response is, we are taking care of it. And your boss tries to get around you to get to the people and you say, nope, 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 don't you worry, we're going to take care of it. And your boss is asking you more and more questions. So when I get the information together, I promise you a full report. We will have this together. Then you turn around and you look at your people. And your people see all the bullet marks that you just took from your boss. What do you think they're going to be saying about you at lunch? I guarantee I know what they're going to be saying about you. Hey, do you see the way he took that responsibility? Do you see how he threw himself under the bus for us? Now... In both situations, what do you think is going to happen in the future? In the first situation, when you threw the employee under the bus, I guarantee you, your employees are not going to raise their head above their desks because they're worried about it getting shot off. In the second example, your employees are going to be taking risks. Why are they going to be taking risks? Because they know you have their back. What more can you ask of a department? except that, that your employees are taking risks based on the fact that you are going to interface with upper management if an error occurs. Now, a tangent to that, what if a success occurs? You don't take responsibility for that. You give it to your employees. You take responsibility for the errors, but you lavish praise on your employees when things go right. If you have any issues with what I'm saying, watch either Fox Business or CNBC uh, when the CEO is being interviewed and you'll see the same thing. They take responsibility for their errors but they lavish praise for successes. That's a key to leadership and managerial success. Think about it. Bill Shaka thanking you for attending another edition of the 5 Minute Moderator. Please like, share, comment. Please join the membership and the YouTube channel. Appreciate it. Talk soon. Bye.